rectangle. So, pwede mong isipin ngayon, or mas maganda kung tanda mo yung formula ng rectangle when it comes to perimeter and area. Kasi, marami sa mga learners natin, or mga students natin, they tend to forget the formula on how to calculate the perimeter and area of a given plane figure. So, let's start with the formula of the area of a parallelogram. Ang formula natin is simply area is equal to base times height. Okay? So, in symbol, we will be using single letters to represent those words. Your formula is simply A is equal to base times height or A is equal to B H. Okay? This is your area, this is your base, and this is your height. Now, given this plane figure parallelogram, we need to know Ay, sir, nasan po ba dyan yung ating base at nasan yung ating height? So, in this figure, yung height natin is this one. Yung perpendicular sa isang side ng parallelogram. Itong broken line natin, which is 4 meters. So, you have your height be equal to 4 meters. And sir, how about the base? Yung base naman natin is related, is per, your base is itong 8 meters natin. Sir, ano pong palatandaan namin para mas madali namin malaman kung nasaan yung base because we have here another measurement which is 5 meters. Yung, five, yung 8 meters natin yung base because your base is perpendicular to your height. So, ang B mo is equal to 8 meters. So, if you have the, the value of your H and B, you can use it directly to the formula and substitute it and then you can have A is equal to 8 meters as the value of your base times the value of your height which is 4 meters and multiplying these numbers or these quantities this will give you area is equal to 32 and for the unit of measurement m times m or meters times meters it will give you meter squared so this is the answer for the area, or this is the area of this given parallelogram. So, I hope na nakuha nyo na yung technique o yung way natin on how to calculate it. So, let's move on with the perimeter. Sir, what is the perimeter or what is the formula in finding the perimeter of a given parallelogram? So, may dalawang formula na parehas lang naman. Ang unang formula natin is that you have a sub 1, or A na lang, A plus B plus C plus D. Wherein, yung letters A, B, C, and D natin, it talks about or it represents the different sides of a given parallelogram. So in this given figure, ito ah, sides, sa sides tayo focus. In this given figure, your A is this one, A. And then, here is your B. Here is your C. And here is your D. Eh sir, meron pa lang tayong value ng A at B natin. How about C and D? Remember, sa isang rectangle or sa isang parallelogram, ang kanilang opposite sides are congruent or equal. Meaning, if this is 8, automatically, your side C is also equivalent to 8 meters. And for your side D, since this one is 5 meters, automatically this is also equal to 5 meters. Since meron tayong 4 measurements of the size, we can find the formula or you can calculate for the perimeter using this formula. And then you can have P is equal to your A which is 8 meters plus your B which is 5 meters plus your C which is 8 meters plus your D which is 5 meters. If you add this, their sum is equal to 8 plus 8, it will give you 16. And then 5 plus 5, that's 10. So basically, that is 16 plus 10. So this will give you 26 meters. Ito yung first, appear, or first form ng ating formula for the perimeter. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, nagkakaroon tayo ng repetition. Repetition when it comes to uh, the measurements ng sides niya. So another form of the formula for perimeter is that you can use this formula P is equal to 2A plus 2B. Or pwede niyo siyang basahin bilang perimeter is equal to 2 times A plus 2 times B. 
Kung mapansin nyo kasi guys, nauulit siya, di ba? Yung opposite sides natin ay congruent. You have 8 meters here and you have 8 meters here. And dito naman, you have 5 meters and you have 5 meters. So isipin natin ngayon that your A is equal to 8 meters and then your B is your 5 meters. Parang ano lang siya, yung parang length and width lang siya ng isang rectangle. Continue natin. So using this formula, you have your P is equal to 2 times your A which is 8 meters plus your B which is 5 meters and this is also equal to 16 meters plus your 2 times 5 meters will, this will give you 10 meters and wow! Ito na rin siya. 16 meters plus 10 meters your answer is still 26 meters. Kung mapansin nyo, using the same different formula we can still get the exact value or the perimeter of this given parallelogram. In the next part of our video, I'll be giving you another example wherein you can master the, you can master directly how to calculate the perimeter and area of a given parallelogram. Now let's have two more examples in calculating the perimeter and the area of a given parallelogram. So we have the, here this given figure. Okay, we will start with the perimeter. Perimeter is equal to 2A plus 2B. And your A here is equal to 16 feet. And your B is equal to 10 feet. Okay, you can pause the video and you can calculate it on your own. Okay, let's try solving this one. Your A is equal to 16 feet. This will become P is equal to 2 times 16 feet plus 2 times 10 feet for the value of B. Multiplying this 2 times 16, that is equal to 32 feet plus your 2 times 10 it will give you 20 feet. Add them and here's your final answer. 32 feet plus 20, 20 feet, this will give you 52 feet as the perimeter of the given parallelogram above. And for the area of this given parallelogram, we will be using the formula area is equal to base times height, wherein the base here is 16, 16 feet, the height is equal to 8 feet. So simplifying this one, area is equal to 16 feet times your height which is 8 feet. So let's multiply. Uh, we have here 16 times 8. We have 48, carry 4. And then 8 times 1, this will give you plus 10, I uh, 8 plus 4, that is 12. So the area now for this given parallelogram is simply 128 feet squared. This is the area and the perimeter for this given parallelogram above. Now let's move on with this parallelogram. Now don't be confused about the orientation. Ha? Still, we, we will be using the formula P is equal to 2A plus 2B. Your A is simply uh, 12 meters. And for the B, that is 16 meters. So we have here P is equal to 2 times 12 meters plus 2 times 16 meters meters. This is 24 meters plus 32 meters and simplify this one, add mo lang sila, it will give us 56 meters. Ito ngayon yung perimeter ng second parallelogram natin. And as for the area, you have your area is equal to base times height. Your base is equal to 12 meters. Yan. Your height is equal to 15 meters. Tama? This is your height. This is your base. So that will be area is equal to 12 meters times 15 meters. So try natin ha. Uh, 12 times 15. Uh, to break down ko to. Uh, 10 times 15 that is 150. Tapos 2 times 15 that is 30. So 150 plus 30 that will give you the area of 180 meters. 
squared. This is the area of the given parallelogram. So, I hope na natutunan nyo yung method natin o yung ways natin on how to calculate for the perimeter and area of a given rectangle, of a given parallelogram rather. So, if you have any question about our solution, pwede mong ilagay sa ating comment section. And if you want me to discuss a certain topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, please comment down below. And lastly, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher God. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!